everyone and welcome back to my fashion how-to series. I'm really glad you guys like these videos. I think they're so fun to film. I can really share my tips and everything that I know about fashion with you guys through these videos. So since it's being since it is Sunday, it being Sunday, I did another one and this is how to make denim shorts out of old jeans that you may have in your wardrobe that you just don't get use out of very much. You're not attached to so you want to cut them up into jean shorts. So I'll show you tip by or step by step how I go through that process. Uh, you know when I decide to do jean shorts out of old jeans. So I made this pair in the video. You'll see how I made these out of some old Goodwill jeans that I had. So I paid five dollars for these jeans. Really good deal and I talk about that in the video so sorry if it's a little repetitive. But I absolutely love these and I'm really obsessed. They're like my new favorite pair of denim shorts. I think they look really good. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this. So if you want to see how, just keep watching. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is put on the pair of jeans that you want to cut off into shorts because you need to see how they fit. Make sure that they fit really well throughout the top portion and you like how they look from here up because that's obviously what's going to matter when you're making shorts out of them. So these pants in particular I bought at Goodwill. They're by the brand Rampage. And I just loved how they fit up here. They look really good, but they are flared. And I don't wear flared jeans. Um, if I did, these pants would not be cut up into shorts. So I bought these for the sole purpose of cutting into shorts because they were so cheap. They were like five bucks at Goodwill. So Goodwill is a really good place if you're going to buy um, pairs of jeans to cut up for the purpose of shorts, making shorts. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this until you have a pair that you're tired of or if you have the money to splurge. You can go ahead and buy any brand of denim that you want to cut up. So, you also need a pen, preferably in the color of the pant that you'll still be able to see. I'm just using a blue pen. Um, I'm really bad and I normally don't mark my jeans. I normally just go in with my scissors and just cut where I think I'm going to cut them. And I just cut a little snip and that's bad because you that might not be the level which you want. So, you need to put on the denim because you need to see in the mirror where you're going to be cutting them. So I have my mirror right here, um, I'm standing in front of my door, and I'm going to be looking directly into the mirror and figuring out how long I want the shorts to be. <clears throat> so, for these jeans, last time I did this I accidentally cut shorts, my shorts too short, and they cannot be worn um, really at all, they're kind of really short. So, for these, I'm going to cut them a little bit longer than I think, plus these would look really good rolled up. So I think I'm going to do that. So I kind of just squat a little bit so I can see where the edge is, because from where I'm standing, I'm looking down, and that's not a good angle. So I squat, and I see where I'm going to want to cut them to roll them up. And make sure you know the length in the back as well, because that's where I cut them too short, because I cut them directly straight, and they ended up being too short in the back. So giving me so much information I'm just rambling sorry about that <laughs> so I'm gonna want to cut it I'm gonna say about here just making sure that should be okay to roll so I'm gonna make a little line where I want it cut you probably won't be able to see where I put the line but I put it right here so it's just a teeny teeny line and then you'll be able to see that line when you lay it flat so don't worry about doing it on the other leg you just need to mark it on one leg so you're going to want to make them even if you mark it again on this side it's going to be uneven so we're going to be laying it flat on the ground once you take the jeans off so i'm going to go ahead and do that and take these off and we'll get started with the cutting okay the next thing you want to do is get a pair of scissors because you'll need that and you're going to lay the jeans out flat on the floor and then you're going to see where you marked it Mine is still right here on this side, so what you're going to do is fold it, your jeans in half, make sure they're really even and it's a flat surface. You don't want to do this like on your bed or something, so it might give you an uneven surface. I'm going to just kind of make it so they lay flat. Flip it just to make sure that it's laying flat. You might actually want to button the front so they stay even there too. Okay, and then you're going to take where you marked it, let me find mine, oh, mine's on this side, you're going to mark it on the other side. 
right there so that way if you get lost throughout this you can have a little reference point. Now it's time to cut. I like to cut both of them at once. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. This just ensures that they're the same exact length. And you actually don't want to cut straight across. You can go ahead and cut at a slight angle, kind of like this instead of like this. Because if you cut too much like this, or I mean like this, you can get a little short in the back. And if you want to fold them, they're going to be too short back here to fold. So you're just going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut at a slight angle. You don't want to do too much of an angle because that will be a little too much. And then you'll see a difference when you put them on. And it's better to cut them too long at first than too short. You can't go back. So I've just learned from experience, cut them too long at first. It's, it's going to be a process because you want to make sure you get it good. And this is not. There we go. So you want to make sure that you have them at the right length. So now you have your pieces. These I normally just toss in the garbage. Now you have some shorts. And these look like Bermudas. They're obviously too long for my taste, so you can cuff them, which is probably what I'm going to do. So that looks really cute. I think those are really cute jean shorts. So the next thing to do is put them back on, because you need to see if that's the length that you want. To me, that looks really good. And with the fold, it's really good to cuff the shorts that you're making out of jeans, because you can always make them, you know, cuff them a little shorter. If you cut them too short on accident, you can make them long, longer if you want. So always leave a little bit of extra length. If you want them, just pure cutoffs. I really recommend putting these back on like this and marking exactly how much you need on the back and the front, but personally I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep mine cuffed when I have them on. So let me go ahead and put them back on and show you guys how I will wear these. Okay, so here is the finished product of what they look like after they've been cut. You can see they kind of look like bicycle shorts, um, and the edges seem to be pretty straight. That's what they look like all the way around. So I like how I cut them a little bit long because now I can cut them. I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to go ahead and cut them. I'll look in the mirror. Actually, I can do this facing you guys. I don't mind. Um, so I'm just going to cuff them to where I think they look nice. I want to make sure you don't want to cuff them too much in the back because you want to have, you know, your booty covered. So you can leave them like that. What I was playing with before I turned the camera back on is I was looking at it and I liked it when I rolled it in a little bit. Just on the front, the back, I'm not going to worry about too much. To where they look like a rolled denim short and I think looks really cute. So they look like so. I think they look adorable. I'm loving this pair of jean shorts now. I'm like obsessed with these. I love the wash of these of these um, uh, jeans as well. I think the, the wash is fantastic. It's kind of like that old vintage vibe. Love it. So that is it I have for the make your own jean shorts out of old denim. That's all I have for the tutorial. I hope you guys do this and get some use out of some old jeans that you have just sitting in your closet or in a drawer somewhere. Really hope you guys take advantage of this unique tip and make your own jean shorts. Plus it's really cool to be like, you know, where'd you get your shorts? And I can say Goodwill, but they were jeans and I made them. So I think it's really cool because no one else is going to have that pair of jean shorts because they're from jeans. So I think it's really cool. Kind of make your own and, you know, just look out for pants and stuff like that when you're out that are really cheap but you may not like the exact style at the bottom you can always cut them you know get it on that good deal so I love these I'm gonna be wearing these a lot in the summertime I think I love them so that's all I have please leave any other tips that you may have for others watching and I will talk to you guys next time bye